Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be making a French cleat system on this entire back wall here um, to hold all my tools and hardware and everything. It's about 20 feet long, five feet high. Before I put the French cleats up, I'm going to take these cedar boards and cut them to a couple different lengths so I can have like a cool pattern back there. Uh, it'll mostly probably be hidden by the French cleats, but I thought it would look a lot nicer than this wall and I hate painting, so here we go. Alright, so I got the idea to use the cedar fence pickets as the backdrop of my French cleats when I built the cedar garden boxes out of them. I just thought they looked nice and I thought they would look nice here. The first thing I did was I cut them into different lengths. It's a full length ones which just required me to cut off the dog ear and then some I cut in half. And then I cut some of them in thirds but just leaving one as a third and one as two thirds. Next I checked the stud locations and marked them on my ceiling and workbench with blue tape so that I would know where they were after covering them with the cedar. I wanted to make sure that I could attach my French cleats to the studs so that they would have enough strength to hold my tools. I attached the cedar to my wall using inch and a quarter brad nails. The nails were just needed to hold it temporarily as the screws holding the French cleats into the wall would eventually sandwich the cedar securely into place. It was pretty annoying trying to work behind the garage door track, but eventually I got the last cedar plank attached. Next it was time to start working on the strips for my French cleats. I wanted to have French cleats every 6 inches. I decided to cut my French cleats 2.5 inches wide so that I could use a standard 3.5 inch wide 2x4 as a positive spacer while attaching them to the wall. I used my table saw to cut some salvage plywood into 5 and 8 inch wide strips and then ripped them in half at a 45 degree angle to get two pieces that were the same width. I was left with a ton of French cleats and a ton of sawdust. <laughs> Finally, it was time to attach it to the wall. You can see how I used the 2x4 as a spacer and slowly made my way up the wall, tacking each French cleat into place using 2 inch long brad nails. The last section of French cleats required me to cut them in half to get them to fit. Next I went around and marked every stud location on the French cleats. Then I pre-drilled them and attached them using 3 inch long deck screws into the studs. This whole process of marking and screwing in the French cleats took over an hour and a half. And up until this point I had spent over 4 hours working on this wall. It's not a lot of steps, but each step was very tedious and took a long time. But finally it was done and it was time to build the different things that I would attach my tools to the wall. The first thing I made was some shelves to hold 50 small toolboxes. I got this idea from the goat himself, Casey Neistat. To make the shelves for my boxes, I started by laying out the boxes with some spacers in between to get a measurement for the length of my shelves. I then cut out some strips of plywood for my shelves using a guide and a circular saw. I once again used my table saw to cut some boards at a 45 degree angle to hook onto my fridge cleats. I also cut some 45 degree triangles as supports for the shelf. I used my 18 gauge nail gun and wood glue to put the shelves together. Time to check if it works. And after a few tappy taps with my hammer, I got it into place and I could put my boxes on top. <laughs> Off camera I made 9 more shelves the same way and got them all up on my wall. I picked up these boxes from the Dollar Tree for a dollar each 
before they raise their prices to $1.25. These are definitely not high quality boxes, but they should suffice to hold the different materials that I don't use all of the time, but that I want to have on hand. If you didn't already know, I work full time as a handyman and always need random bits for jobs and for personal use, so I try to keep a supply of items on hand. Now it was time to work on the tool storage. I started by organizing all of my tools into different categories. I got most of these tools and lots at different garage sales over the years. If you're just getting started, garage and estate sales are a great way to get quality tools for dirt cheap. My number one tip is to go on the last hour of the last day and ask how much it would cost to buy the rest of the tools. Most people will give you a good deal so they don't have to store the tools anymore or haul them off to the thrift store. I decided to use large magnets to hold the majority of my tools to the fringe cleat wall. I attached some cleats to some wood that I salvaged from a broken futon frame. Then I attached the magnets that I picked up from Harbor Freight to make some good looking magnetic tool holders. The last step was to make tool holders for specific tools. Here's me making one for the circular saw. All right, y'all, so here's the full wall. I didn't film myself building everything, so I'm gonna run you through all of the things that I made real fast and give you like a little tour. All right, so first up, we got the toolbox wall. Just run you through a couple of them real fast. Uh, so you can see what I got in there. Uh, if you want a full tour of everything that's in these boxes, let me know in the comments and I will make that video. But otherwise, I'll just do a quick once over. So that's my toolbox wall. Next we got the magnets, we got the screwdrivers on here, just a whole bunch of different sizes. We got our hex head things, got our different uh, gauges uh, for different sizes of nuts and bolts and things like that. Got some squares, wire stripper, vice grips, Japanese pull saws. We got all our hammers and mallets and a sledge. We got some socket headed, uh, Screwdrivers there, I don't know what those are called. Ooh, wooden handle. Some tape measures, our scissors and cutters of different types. Different kinds of pliers. Got some tweezers. Then I got some um, markers and my pencils. I also like to use these for sanding. Little nail file. Got our scrapers, some pry bars, um, paint can openers, some knives, a bunch of files and chisels, some little carving tools, some punches and more chisels, paper towels, a plane. We got some clamps, a router bit set, a whole bunch of wrenches, some more wrenches, some vice grips, some calipers, more wrenches. Then we got our sockets. Some metric and SAE. Got our uh, impact bit set. I have the same one in my toolbox in the van. We have my ratchets for my sockets. Some more bits. Some more wrenches. These are going to be the first ones I go in a box um, so I can have more room on my French cleat wall if I need it. Got some more squares. Uh, different types of tape. Double stick tape. Blue tape. Uh, some edge banding. Up there we have some supplies for different things to use on my laser engraver, which is on the wall over there. Uh, right here we have a holder for an oscillating multi-tool and a grinder. Then we just have some glues up there and some rubbing alcohol. Got a big router, palm router, some sanders. Got this holder for our nail gun our sandpaper holder, and a random orbital sander. We have a drill, the impact, and the 3 8 impact that I have not used yet. 
different screws, two, two and a half, and four. Our brad nails for our nailer. Some more screws, speaker. Up top, we have our sawzall, jigsaw with some blades, circular saw. Got a new circular saw. Gonna have to make something for that. Um, our mask, face mask, some safety glasses, giant square, leaf blower for cleaning up everything. Um, more safety glasses, but those are prescription. My sign, a straight edge, big square, and a big guide for ripping materials. And that's it. Oh, almost forgot my rags. All right, y'all, I hope you liked the video. I think it turned out great. I've been using it a lot. It's a good place to hold all my tools and have all my supplies on hand whenever I need them. It also makes a really good backdrop for some nice shots. So I'm going to be filming and making a lot of more videos in here. And I will have a nice tool wall to grab tools off of to make things with. If you like the video, please subscribe. I got plenty more videos coming. I have like three or four more already shot and edited. So those will be coming out every week. So please subscribe and thanks for watching. Bye. So if you like the video, please subscribe. I've got plenty more. <clears throat> if you like the video, please subscribe. <coughs>